Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood pants is back with another Summoner's War video. Today I want to take a look at 100 Kurei Oracles and how we could speed tune them. First off, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that I'm making this video under the assumption that you know how speed in Summoner's War works. If you don't know how speed in Summoner's War works, I'll put a link in the top right corner of this video that is to a video I made discussing anything and everything you might want to know about speed, how ties are decided upon, rounding, speed breakpoints and ticks and all that kind of thing. So if you don't know what any of that stuff I just said means, then I recommend watching that video before you watch this one. Second disclaimer I want to give is I think what I'm about to show you is more significant in PvE than it is in RTA, mostly because I think it's quite a bit easier to lap opponents on the PvE side of things than it is in RTA, and part of that is due to the fact that ticks are based off of 7% of your speed in PvE compared to 1.5% in RTA. Additionally, there is an absurd amount of attack bar manipulation in RTA. Not that there isn't a bunch of attack bar manipulation in PvE as well, I just think there's like not a single match in RTA where attack bar is manipulated in some way shape or form. With that said, let's get into the video. So I can't remember exactly where I first heard about 100 crit rate oracles having different breakpoints than other monsters. Now mind you, they do technically have the same breakpoints as everyone else. The 205, 239, 286, and 358 speed breakpoints, they have the same as everyone else. However, if they're ruined on 100% crit rate, they're going to increase their attack bar by 45% every time they use their skill 1. Because of that, they can kind of get away with having less speed than getting to the breakpoint. And that's what I'm going to show you here and show you what those speeds are and explain how that works. So you can see here on the top, we have 100 crit rate oracles for PvE and speed breakpoints based on that. That's the bold numbers here, the 358, 286, 239, 205, and then speeds in between here. And the green represents any time the attack bar gets to 100%. For example, at 286 speed, it takes five ticks to get 100% of attack bar, and that's when your oracle will take their turn. Now, as soon as it takes its turn, Assuming you do skill 1, in the cases here you probably do skill 2, violent proc, and use skill 1. Sometimes you use skill 3, you'll most often use skill 1 to increase the attack bar. So then you get 45% attack bar, because you have 100 crit rate, plus the 20% to get you to 65% of your attack bar. And then each tick you get that 20% again, and it brings you to 105%. So from now on, anytime you use your skill 1, you're going to get to 105% attack bar rather than exactly 100%. So the idea is basically rather than getting to 100% at your very first turn, like you do at the breakpoints, you take one more tick to get there. And then after you use skill one, you get to the exactly 100%. You see that here at 262 speed. And it's significant because one speed slower at 261, you don't accomplish that. So here you can see rather than five ticks to take your first turn, it's going to take you six ticks and you have this attack bar overflow of 10%, which is no fun. That's why people suggest ruining at the breakpoints to begin with. At just a single speed less, it's still going to take you the additional tick mark as compared to 286 to get to over 100% attack bar. But then, after you use your skill 1, you're going to get to 99.8%. That's no good. So it's going to take an additional tick for you to take your turn. So that's kind of the, the significance of this idea. If you're wondering what speed you need, I can calculate that real quick. So assuming you have a max speed tower, let's just say you're using Sierra, so you have a 24% speed lead. Oracle base speeds is 100. So if you're using Sierra, you have a 24 lead, you have a max speed tower, then a plus 123 Sierra will be at this exactly 262 speed. And that way, you're not quite as well off as being at 286, at being at the actual breakpoint, but you're still doing pretty good. And you're much better than being at 261. So if you find your Sierra is at 122, you should definitely try to get that one additional speed. Essentially what I'm advising you here is if for whatever reason, I mean, I don't know what rank y'all are at, but plus 147 is where I have my Sierra to get her at exactly 286. Not everyone can do that on a efficient violence set with 100 crit rate. So if you can't manage that, then instead of going all the way down to 239, you can try going to this 262 at plus 123. That is significantly more manageable based on whatever your room quality is. Now let's say you can't get to 262 either. Well, from what I can tell, there's no other speed in between the breakpoints that this phenomenon occurs. Um, for example, let's say in between 205 and the 239, at 206, you're just as fast as 205 basically. And if I go all the way to 238, which is one less than the 239 breakpoint, um, you're still just as fast as 205. So you get to 99.96, so not quite 100, unfortunately. And then after you use skill one, get that 45% boost, you get to 111% rather than 100. 
And if you try any other numbers, you don't quite get to exactly 100. So it just, it is what it is. So it seems 262 is the sweet spot if you can't get to 286. So RTA takes a lot more ticks to do anything because it's one and a half percent per tick compared to 7%. Also, it changes what the breakpoints are rather than 358, 286, et cetera, et cetera. You have 351, 334, 318, 304, so on and so forth. So in this case, I have from 351 all the way to 257, which I think most people in RTA will have their monsters ruined in this range, assuming there's a speed lead, which almost always there's a speed lead in RTA. So I think this is a, a reasonable range to look in. So again, I'm just going to play around with the speeds in between the breakpoints to try and see if I can discover these little sweet spot speeds where you get to 100% attack bar exactly after using your skill one with 100 crit rate. 291, for example, which is in between 290 and 304. You can see if we get to 100 the same times as here, so that's no good. Let's try 303. So that's 104, same thing. We don't really like that. All right, so over here, I'm going to try 305. You can see we take the same turn as if we were at 304, so that's nothing special. But let's try 317, one less than 318. And you can see now we actually reach 100% attack bar one tick before than at 305. So that's significant. So let's go, I don't know, 312. Let's see what happens there. So 306, that's, that's the number. So if you're at 306, just two speed more than 304 breakpoint, then you're gonna be getting to 100% attack bar one tick faster than at 304 or at 305. So that's, again, like I said, not as significant in RTA because there's gonna be so much attack bar manipulation with the Savannas, with Qian Pungs, with just all of the monsters, uh, Water Ryu, of course. Me personally, when it comes to RTA, I just kind of speed tune my monsters to each other. I don't particularly worry about ticks. Again, I suck at RTA though, so don't necessarily take advice from me regarding RTA, though my friends that are in G3 that I know tell me this kind of same thing. They don't really look at ticks. They just kind of speed tune their monsters together. So if they have this monster going first and they want this monster going right after them, they try to get them as close to, as each other in speed as possible, no matter what the speed lead they happen to be using. That kind of thing. Me, I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not good at RTA. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to show you is these little in-between speeds. Again, it's 262 for PVE, where I think it's more significant. Um, with Cirrus lead, that'd be plus 123. Without a speed lead, let's try... Oh, look at that. It's 147. So that's interesting. I wonder if Comtwist is doing funny things with math because it's one more, excuse me, plus 147 to get to 262 without the lead. And then to get to the actual breakpoint with the 24 lead, it's also plus 147. So that's interesting. Um, I'm a nerd, if you, if you can tell. So anyways, if you're running like Praha, um, I guess people these days are running Karkano Praha Tyrannus on defense. Well, you can aim for plus 123 for your Praha and get almost the same effect as if you're running here plus 147. So whatever your runes will let you do, basically. I highly recommend running your Oracle's 100 crit rate. It's just nine times out of 10 going to be better for you, unless it's some kind of weird cleave where you want your Sierra to just smack hard as can be. But in general, most cases I've seen 100 crit rate Oracle's the turn cycling that they can do is just insane. So I highly recommend 100 crit rate oracles. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a, a like and subscribe and all that kind of thing. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, everyone.